congratulations on the new season. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I love following the fact that you guys are, you know, going through each year and, and starting a new season. It's kind of a new time period, almost. Mm -hmm. I mean, 1901 right now. Yeah. I find that really interesting that you're at the turn of the century, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, what's What's it been like now uh, for this new season? What's, what's different? Well, a lot is different this season, um, you know, in and outside and around the show. The fact that we're on the CBC and there's a lot more um, publicity and a lot more excitement about it. We have a whole 18 episodes so that the writers get, can uh, establish a sense of a real arc. So 13 is it's very fast. So with 18, they've been able to sink their teeth in, you know, and really get going. Also, um, because it's the new century and we've, uh, we've had development in character and we have uh, Georgina as well and truly, uh, Dr. Grace well and truly established in the show. And so um, Dr. Ogden's capacity is changing. Um, at the end of the last season we had uh, a lot of tragedy and we've come through now. Um, and in terms of the through line of, the, of um, William and Julia, uh, there's a whole flourishing that can happen, so it's like a brand new day. Um, and so there's a wonderful long arc going on there that the audience is going to love. They're a little bit desperate for it to happen, and so we're really dealing with that head on. Um, but on top of that, we just we uh, the show sort of took it up a notch, probably financially, and uh, so we're able to. Um, do a lot more than we haven't done before, and part of that is great sets and great um, effects, and so they've really gone all the way when it comes to great storylines that demanded um, doing some really interesting things. The first episode up is a good example because we're not only you know shooting with a fan fabulous vintage um, ship behind us and shooting on in it. Right. Then we moved into sets where they could sink the entire set underwater and just with swim pools and do all this fantastic stuff where we have uh, full on, um, you know, um, drowning sequences and, um, and that, like the whole ship is going under. So we've really been able to take it up. So I think the audience will be really excited. All of a sudden we have, um, we have a lot of energy behind it that we didn't have before. All right. Well, I was talking to Yannick about the fact that, uh, you know, you guys have it feels like you guys have come so far from the first season, both mm -hmm. thematically, you know, touching on on the the new developments of the day almost. Yeah. Uh, and now, obviously, on set for you guys, it obviously changes as well. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite part of this new season? I don't know. Uh, it's it's very hard while we're in the midst of shooting to ask these questions because. You know, we, we shoot out of order, it all runs into one, right. it's a grueling schedule. Um, it gets to the point where you don't remember one thing <laughs> from another. It's, ter it's terrible to say. Um, but, you know, I keep returning to the first episode we were shot, but I think it's because it's the most clarity I had all year. <laughs> but um, it was an episode where straight off the page it blew me away. I couldn't believe we were doing it. And then when, we, when I turned up to the sets and what we were doing, I was completely blown away by it. So being able to do stunt stuff and you know and really get get into it in that way um, and be written in that way for me it's a lot of fun because uh, Julie Ogden's now very much involved in cases. I used to be in the morgue and you know and uh, discussing relationship over dead bodies only but now I'm sort of in the field and they found a way and they've done some wonderful storylines that bring it back to where I work. Um, about phobias and and um, we're in the asylum quite a bit dealing with that. And, uh, well, so. I saw your new set as well in your, your room, basically. Oh yeah. It's it's awesome back there. I mean, you guys have. I mean, obviously even out here, but everywhere mm -hmm. your sets are. Uh, Our sets are part outstanding. Of the character. Right? Yes. It the really sets are outstanding, and across the board, because we now, uh, you know, have 18 episodes, we get a little bit more of an injection of money, and then we've been able to take it up an option. This, these sets are incredible out here, but also they're constantly changing those inside, and they're developing them every year. They're blowing away. And uh, I'm going to the season. Uh, there's uh, obviously some changes every year. This year we've got uh, a swimsuit uh, episode. Oh, yeah. You can say. Yeah, we did a wonderful episode um, that was supposed to be set in a heat wave, and we were three days shooting on the beach down in Grimsby, actually, and it was the heat wave. Wow. We were dying out there. Um, luckily, I had to wear a swimsuit, which is marginally less less fabric than this. Right. Except that it's wool or Wool and tights <laughs> and things. Uh, but we did get to go into the water, and there's great scenes. Uh, 
with um, Julia and um, and William getting into the water in their bathing suits and I have to say it's like Victorian, uh, we look like a couple of children, it's really funny. <laughs> the clothing that they wore in the, in the pool back then was uh, like little kids clothes, it's funny. That's very cool. Well, I mean, my last question really is, I mean, where where would you hope that things go? You know, hopefully you guys are coming back for the next season. What would you like to see? What's, what's your dream for another season? Well, you know, I, I just, I never know what they're going to come up with. They have some really exciting stuff. And so I, you know, I hope that we they continue with this outlandish stuff that we've been doing. We've been going, you know, We've covered everything from zombies to, you know, <laughs> uh, to sh ship sinking and, and everything in between. I'm sure we're going to continue to do that. I think, like the audience, uh, a lot of us want to see some romantic development, which would be really fun. I personally am pushing for the wedding. Um, but then I'm also, more importantly, pushing for the honeymoon. I'm pitching a honeymoon in Paris. Oh, nice. I think I that the audience that. in France would appreciate it too, but I want to make sure that we're actually in France. Nice. That's what I'm going for. I think that, that would be a really nice injection of flair to the show, but also really fun to see uh, the couple finally nice. having the romantic moment. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you.